We've made some more exhaust modifications in the search for more horsepower. Now we've got the pressure gauge strapped to the windshield and we're going to do some wide open throttle testing to make sure we've reduced the back pressure. Next. Toys for life. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is part two of exhaust back pressure testing, searching for more horsepower. In part one, and I'll put a link in your upper right hand corner, I tested the stock exhaust system ahead of the catalytic converters and I got about 14 pounds of back pressure at wide open throttle, 6,500 RPMs. I tested behind the second catalytic converter but before the muffler and we got about seven, a little over seven pounds per square inch. A performance exhaust should be, you know, five pounds or less, so that's not going to cut it. So to try to help this problem out, I've been doing a lot of research and I came across some articles regarding the 2002 Z06. They got a 20 horsepower bump that year with some cam changes, some intake changes, but they also changed the exhaust system. They got rid of the pup cats and they got better, more efficient main cats. And the best I can tell from all the reading I did, the cat part of it is probably worth somewhere between five and 10 horsepower on a 400 horsepower motor. The supercharged C6 has around 610 at the crank. So I'm thinking those pup cats are probably worth quite a bit more. So next, we're gonna test a 2002 Z06 style midpipe. It's got the two main catalytic converters, no pup cats, and we'll put the test port ahead of the first catalytic converter. So we're getting the back pressure of the whole system at 6,500 RPMs, wide open throttle. Now I can see it in the comments below already. There's gonna be people saying, why don't you just get rid of the catalytic converters? There's a few reasons for that. Number one, it's not the right thing to do. Number two, it's illegal and you can get a big fine for it. And number three, cars without catalytic converters, it's nasty, it's smelly, and I promise you, it gets old real quick. So we drop the old mid-pipe out. Put the new 2002 Z06 mid-pipe in, and we're ready to do some testing ahead of the catalytic converters. We're hoping for that number to be a lot less than the 14 PSI we got in the last test. So like we did last time, we've got the copper line run up the side of the car, isolated so it won't scratch the paint, attached to the windshield so my trusty assistant can record the wide open throttle pulls. Notice how the needle just briefly touches 10 pounds per square inch. Here's a second pull. Again, notice how it just briefly touches 10 pounds per square inch. Now for comparison, let's take a look at the pull from part one from where we tested before the factory pup cat. Notice how it blows past 10 pounds per square inch and stays there for a little while. So here's what I think the takeaways are from part two of our testing. Number one, on a 600 horsepower application, by swapping out the mid-pipe to the more efficient 2002 Z06 style design, we shaved off somewhere around four to five pounds of back pressure from the stock exhaust system. That should equate to a few more horsepower. I'm thinking somewhere between 10 to 20. To find out, I hope to get out to the track here in the next week or so, and I'll be closely watching the mile per hour because that's absolutely indicative of how much horsepower we're making. Number two, and I should have mentioned this in part one of our testing. If you're watching this and you have stock horsepower up to maybe another 75 or 80 horsepower, in my opinion, the stock exhaust system is extremely well free flowing and trying to find extra horsepower there at the 400-ish power level, it's not gonna pay off too well. In your upper right-hand corner, I'll put a link to a video I did recently, which is, in my opinion, the absolute best bang for the buck increase in performance for an automatic equipped C5. And keep watching over the next couple months because I'll be doing a few videos on what the best bang for the buck performance upgrades are for your manual transmission cars and then just for actual engine modifications so you don't waste money on things that don't yield a lot of horsepower. And guys, if you found this video informative and interesting, please hit that thumbs up below. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>